We play and call it work. Hey folks, Janine from Mini Wargaming here with another how-to video for you. In this video, we are going to paint these long sashes that are draped from the belt of this Harlequin Solitaire. We want to do a nice bright yellow, but we're going to start quite dark and then highlight up. As always, if you have suggestions for something you'd like to see in a future how-to video, please leave them down below in the comments. Now we want to paint both of the sashes. There's the one that's very obvious to see that's hanging from the belt and kind of flowing out behind the model. But there's also one that's tucked kind of inside the long coat. And we want to paint them both. Our first color is going to be Doombull Brown. I want to make sure that I thin my paints. So I'm going to use a little bit of Lamian Medium in my paint. You can use any medium that you prefer, including water. We just want to make sure that we thin our paints a little bit before we put them on. And we're going to apply this all over these flowing sashes. We want to make sure that we get this everywhere. We don't want to leave any black showing on the model. It's going to take us a couple thin layers to really build up an opaque coat and that's okay. It's better to apply it thinly and build up the color slowly. We're doing this so that our darkest shadow is not black, it's more of a dark brown. And because it's going to be a whole lot easier to start applying our really bright colors over this doom bowl than it is to start applying them over a black. Our next color is gonna be Wild Rider Red. We want to apply this red over just about the entirety of these sashes. We want to make sure that we leave just a little bit of that Doombull Brown in a few areas that are going to be our deepest shadow, but this red is going over just about everything else. The reason why I'm going all the way up to a Wild Rider Red is because I don't want to have too much red on the sash. I just need another step to kind of build up so I can get to my yellow. And this is a red that has a lot of orange in it, so it's going to let me do that. As I apply it, there's going to be a few areas where I need to kind of blend between Wild Rider and the Doombull Brown. In those areas, I can go back and kind of create a mix of my paint, mixing the Doombull into my Wild Rider Red and kind of creating a brighter brownish red. And I can use that color to help me blend a little bit. Another thing that I can do to kind of help me have a really smooth blend of colors is to make sure, again, I'm using very thin layers so that I don't cover too much of the model too quickly and then I can progressively paint less and less of the model with each layer. That's going to help me make a smooth gradient as well. Now that I've applied the Wild Rider Red, my next color is going to be Troll Solaire Orange. And I'm blending this into my red like I did with my previous layer. I'm going to start in the areas that I know I want to be bright. So I'm going to start at the top end of these curves of the sash, really right at the edges. And then I'm going to kind of work them down into my shadows. I also want to make sure that I catch all of the edges, just because I want the very edges of each of these sashes to be nice and bright and outlined. And similar to all of my colors, I'm going to apply this in a lot of little teeny layers, really just building up the color, making sure that it blends smoothly into that bright red that I just applied, using some of that Wild Rider Red if I need to blend a transition a little bit, but mostly just slowly layering this on so I have a really smooth transition. My next color is going to be Averland Sunset. I don't use this yellow super often, but I really want it for this particular yellow just because it's got a little bit more of a brown to it. It's not quite so vibrant and super bright, but that actually is going to match the color that I achieved on the star fields that are on the cloak. It's a little bit more of a brownie subtle yellow as well because we applied those star fields in a dry brush. So this Averland Sunset color is going to make this sash match what I've already got on the model. And that's kind of what I'm going for. This is really going to be the base of my yellow color versus the oranges and the reds that I've applied so far. So I'm applying this over quite a bit of the sash, probably about 50%. I want to make sure that I leave some of my previous colors in there. I want to make sure that I've got a little bit of shadow and a little bit of orange. And again, I'm going to start in the areas where I want it to be the brightest and kind of blend it further down the cloth. 
Another cool thing about applying this yellow is that it's kind of like when you're painting white or black. You don't necessarily need to paint the model white or black. You just want it to look like it's white or black. And so that's what we're going for with this yellow. We don't necessarily need to paint all of the cloth yellow to make it look like it's yellow. So we can use this a little bit more like a highlight and it will still seem like the entire cloth is yellow. It just has some dark sections. And I do want to make sure that I'm using very thin layers because as I paint over some of my orange sections, I want to leave a little bit of that orange showing underneath the yellow paint just so that the yellow isn't necessarily completely covering up the color. It's just tinting it to be more yellow than orange. Next, I'm going to do a final super highlight using the color Flash Gets Yellow. Now this, I don't want to use a lot of. This is going to be mostly just a line highlight, really catching the top edge of the sash and the boxy edges at the very end. I don't want to get the lower end as much. Maybe if there's one area on a swoop that I kind of want to highlight, I can add a little bit of this color there. But really this is just catching the highest points, the areas that I want it to be the brightest. And this is another color that's going to kind of trick the eye to making all of my other shades seem more yellow than they really are. All right, at this point we've got our orangey yellow cloth done. I want to add a few freehand details on the end. I'm going to take the color Abaddon Black and I'm just going to paint the different card suits at the very end of each of these little sash strips. So on one I want to have a spade, a heart, a diamond, and a club. And I want to make sure that I paint it on both sides. It's just going to be a little tiny detail but it kind of gives it a little bit extra and it fits the Harlequin theme. All right, and with that last little bit of freehand, the yellow sashes on the Solitaire Mini are complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more how-to videos, I have another one where I'm going to paint the belt that's cinched around this coat in the Mini Wargaming Vault in the link down below in the description. If you don't already have a vault membership, you can go ahead and click the link, sign up for a seven day free trial, and get access to my video as well as hundreds of other videos in the Mini Wargaming Vault. So go ahead, click the link, start your free trial, and happy wargaming!